Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Uh, today, the play is all about how to play. And that is one of the things I get asked most frequently is how do you know where to start? How do you know what to put next on a layer? How do you know what to use? How do you know how to use it? And most importantly, how do you keep from being stuck, frozen, paralyzed? Well, the answers to all of these questions can be found in play. Now, I have been fortunate enough to learn from the masters of play. And when I watch them, the thing that I notice through all their play, they don't feel any pressure. Now, that's also understandable because these masters of play, they tend to be about three years old. So, of course, they don't feel the pressure. And that is the tricky part. When you're an adult, how do you let go of all of the pressures of having grown up, all the things, the overthinking, the spinning around in your head, the perfectionism, how do you let that stuff all go so you can just simply play and enjoy and be in the moment? And that was what I realized I had to figure out for myself 12 years ago because I found I had a good life. I had a job I loved. I had a family. Everybody's healthy. What more could I have wanted? And yet I felt like something was missing. It kind of felt like there was a part of me that was numb. And I realized every time I picked up those art supplies, every time that I played with them, I moved that color around, a little part of me came back. That started me on the path of understanding play and the search for specific strategies for how to get more of it. Now, if you've seen many of my videos, you might know the first strategy that I figured out. This one was about not beating myself up. This was about not taking every mistake as the end of the world, because wow, can it really feel like that when we do them, right? And what I started saying was, oops, outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly every time I screwed something up. And between you and me, I do that a lot. Now, what this allowed me to do was take the pressure off of this mistake, take the pressure off of whatever crime against the art supplies I feel I had committed so that I could keep playing. Now, an example of this is this page. Underneath this is something that I think is absolutely a giant oops. But I kept playing because I didn't take it so seriously. It's just an ugly layer. I kept going. That kept the pressure down, so I was able to keep playing until I got to what I have now, which is something that I absolutely love. The more that I played, the more strategies that I figured out for how to play, until I had a total of 10, and these became the play principles. And this is what guides me when I'm playing for making decisions so that I never have to be stuck when I'm using them. So let's say I'm looking at a page and I'm wondering, what do I cover up? Well, the play principles guide me through that. If I'm looking at a page and I wonder, what do I add next to this? Play principles guide me on that. I wish I had known these play principles when I got started because there would have been a whole lot less struggle and things would have gone a whole lot faster. Now, I want to save you that time. I don't want you to have to wait 12 years of figuring it out before you can get to the point where the pressure's down so the play can come in. So I created Playful Art Journaling and the 10 Play Principles. That way you can skip all that stuff and get right to the play. What's included in this workshop? Well, every day for three weeks, you're going to get a new video. Each week, there are five main lessons, each one about 30 minutes of edited video, which means no waiting for paint to dry, and then a couple of little bonus videos for you too. Now with these, you will see over 15 art journal pages completed. And more importantly, you'll see those 10 play principles in action. So not only will you understand what they are, but you will see them applied. You will see how intertwined they are and how they support each other and how when you combine them together, they can do amazing things. Because one by themselves is great, but that combination, wow, really packs a punch when you're playing. Along with the videos, you also have some downloads. I've got a PDF cheat sheet for you, as well as photos and different things that I'm using. Yep, I've got them in there for you to download so you can use it too. Of course, we've got community. We've got the classroom where you can share what you're making, interact with students, and an optional Facebook group. But most importantly, you have a lifetime access to this. You'll get a new video every day for three weeks, but that doesn't mean you have to watch it that day. For those of you that love to watch it as soon as it comes out, you betcha you can do that. For those of you that like to save it up and binge it Netflix style, yep, you can do that too. 
For people that like to come back and watch it again and again or spread it out over a really long period of time, yep, you can do that too. You have all that flexibility because this workshop is lifetime access. I believe so much in the power of these 10 play principles, how they can get that pressure down so the play can come in, that I have a 14 day money back guarantee on this workshop and it is a no hassle guarantee. Try the workshop for 14 days, two of the three weeks. And if at the end of that you decide it's not right for you, no problem. You simply send me an email that says the workshop isn't right for me and I will send you a full refund. That's all there is to it. I believe that strongly that these 10 play principles can help you. But again, until you get in there and play, you won't really know. So that's why I offer you that 14 day no hassle money back guarantee. What's a workshop without bonuses? I've got three of them for you with this workshop when you register now. Now the first bonus has to do with dilution sprayings. And these things, if you've ever played with them, you know that they bleed through the layers. Anything that you put on top, this stuff bleeds right through it. But I've actually found five different ways that you can stop that from happening. Yep, five different ways, five different products that you can use to keep this stuff from bleeding through. And I've got that for you all in the first bonus. The second bonus is about taking what you create in your art journal and getting it up onto the wall. How do you transfer it from your art journal onto the wall? I'm going to show you an easy way to do that. And the third bonus is mastering scribble journaling. If you're not used to letting loose, to letting it just flow, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to share the tips and tricks for you in that bonus. If you are ready to get rid of the pressure and let that play in, then join me for Playful Art Journaling and the 10 Play Principles. Registration is now open and you can find all the details at acolorfuljourney.com. And I cannot wait to see where the play takes you.